Well, it wouldn't be a trip to Canada without it raining on me. Hopping out of the car, we just packed up the camp. I wanted to give you a, like a one minute spiel what we're doing here, but I guess we have to do it in the car because it's now it's raining on me. But we are in New Brunswick across the border, like 10 miles over the border from Maine. And we are uh, set, it, camp is set up, oh, sorry, camp is tore down. And now we are heading to Timmy's and then on to Nova Scotia. So more later, cause it's freaking raining on me. <laughs> It's pretty. Hi. Hello. Oh, do you feel, filming. Do you feel like popper like I'm paparazzi now? I do. I feel very important. <laughs> Very pretty here. Yeah. I feel like the ones here, they just have them, like, they look cleaner than the ones in Maine. They look They're like. They're really well maintained. But, the, like, all the paint's actually, like, in good shape. Waiting for the ferry and eating PB and J's and cheese curds. <laughs> We're fancy. Very fancy. Breakfast of Champions. Hey, we were in uh, Port of Basque. Found land. Hey, look at that. Uh, look at that waterfall over there. Right there. We're in Newfoundland, and we have a booking for a campground in Gross Morn tonight, which is only a three-hour drive. So we're just gonna wing it. Heather is Heather is exhausted. 
she is in there. <laughs> she is exhausted. So uh, I'm going to reorg some of the stuff in the car and then uh, there's a, there's a truck there. We're parked up the road just out of uh, Port of Basque. Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, just outside of Port of Basque and uh, I got about seven hours of sleep on the ferry. Heather got like two and uh, the night before she only got five. <laughs> so um, I'm giving her about an hour to sleep in the truck. She's already, she fell asleep like immediately. And so I'm going on a little walk about here. This is a road that, you know, on the GS, I would have ridden down and explored for a couple of miles. But in the truck, it's just so bumpy that it would have kept her awake. So we parked, parked over there. The, the highway runs up there, so it's not like we're like that far off road. But we're just, we're just north of the Port of Basque by Ray Cove, I think it was. And I'm just going for a little walk here. I have yet to tell you what we're doing here. <laughs> so, like, we're like halfway into the video by now. Um, we had planned, oh yeah, that's why you went to the truck down here. It's almost totally washed out. Good GS crossing, though. Uh, we are... We were going to do the Trans-Tega and uh, wildfires just kept us from doing that. Look at this, I mean, all the water is just, it's crazy how much water there is in Nova Scotia. Uh, just, just tons of water. Um, now crouch here for a second. So, so we were going to do um, the Trans-Tega, the wildfires were just so bad. That's my butt bone. Wow. Uh, the wildfires just are so bad. Um, even though the Tega, the James Bay Road, the North Road, all that stuff is like what was closed, it's slowly reopening. It's all smoky, it's all char. And truthfully, a lot of it are convoys trying to get supplies back up there. There actually were tourists for two weeks that were stuck in Radisson, Quebec, uh, that couldn't get home. Uh, it's just terrible up there. A lot of uh, First Nation Cree. Uh, folks are stuck um, south of their homes, can't get home. And so, you know, the responsible thing to do was be to not go, which we didn't. We thought, well, let's do, let's put part of the Trans Labrador, let's go up to like Vermont or Labrador City and camp along the way. Same thing, a lightning st storm happened and then wildfires started hitting there as well. And so it was like, we don't know where to go. Uh, I said, well, let's go east because the jet stream is pushing the, the wildfire smoke up. And then I said, let's go to Newfoundland. And I was like, ah, the ferry is like expensive. It was like 270 US round trip. Um, very expensive. Let's not do that. And I said, we can't go all the way to Cape Breton and not go to Newfoundland. And so I talked her into it. Here we are. We just got here this morning. Unfortunately, just like when Matt and I rode uh, the Trans Labrador, you know, south through Newfoundland to Nova Scotia, it rained on us for like five straight days. This is happening again, where there's a storm that we drove through all day yesterday. So I meant to get some really great footage for you guys, really great footage, but it, it, like bullet rain, um, and just really intense, like you can't see in front of you, rain all day long. So we skipped Cape Breton and Meat Cove, just went straight to the ferry hung out there in the rain, ate peanut butter jelly sandwiches, uh, and drank some, some beer and waited for the ferry to board. So now, I hope, what's going to happen to rain today? I hope like we're done with the rain for now because we want to go hike in Grossmore, and we want to hike um, the eastern side of the island and find some icebergs. So I'm not crossing this water by the way. I have boots in the truck, but I don't wear them. All right, I've been talking to you enough. More clips to come. I just feel like we just kind of started this trip and I never actually told you what we're doing. Yeah, I just want photos though. It's, be it's beautiful here. I, I love, I love Newfoundland. I really do. It's like another world. All right, no GS. So we're just gonna jump it. Just gonna spark it. Oh yeah, <laughs> take that water.
Oh, we forgot to get wood. I will we'll go do that, but first we're going to set up the tent. Look at this view, Heather. This is really pretty. This is excellent, actually. You can swim right there. Yeah, this is great. Look at this. It's beautiful. Fog really rolled in heavy. It Low bridge right there. Things sank fast.
Let's make sure there was no ant on me still. Where's our number at? My worry was having to like make a decision point of left versus right and going the wrong way for a bit. I can hear them, I just can't see them. Yeah, they're down there. Well, look at this, Heather. Isn't that beautiful? The mosquitoes are everywhere down here. The trail comes out here, see, and stops. There's a lot of trails that are all grown in. 1915. I'm coming. 1910. Wow. Crazy. somewhere. 